Hi guys, in this episode 14, I want us to look at USDJPY. Someone requested in the comment down below, and this is to show you guys that I read your comments. So if you want me to analyze any pair, you can comment down below and let me know which pair you want us to discuss. So I was looking at USDJPY and I want to know which is the long term or what is the long term direction. And for me, I cannot come here to advise uh, people or traders without even doing a top down analysis. People think that, oh, doing top down analysis is a lot of work. Top down analysis are in the beginning of the month, that's when you only check monthly time frame. And then every weekend, you just check weekly. But now from tomorrow, we will stick to daily and four hour. So when, whenever it is on a Monday, you have to check your weekly because, of course, your weekly candle really matters. But when it is on Tuesday, Wednesday, you focus with daily candle. Okay, guys, that's how we do the analysis. So let's do the USDJPY from top-down analysis. We can see clearly that um, the market was on an uptrend. The market has been on an uptrend. So if I squeeze like that, the market has been on an uptrend and um, there was this structure that was broken, you can see. Can you see? There was this market that is was 1998, like they broke. That resistance was broken. So if this resistance was broken, this market, long term, I'm talking of long term, it might be going there. So long term, this market might be going to that resistance. And it is quite so many pips. Like from where the market is, if it decides to go there, it's more than 2,000 pips. So we can see that there was a very strong resistance that was broken back in 2022, last year, October, and the market from there, it has dropped down. So let me tell you and assure you, USDJPY long-term direction is a buy. Are we together? Long-term direction, guys, is a buy. So unless this market was just a fake breakout and a fake breakout, I'll show you how to understand a fake breakout, but long-term direction is a what? Is a buy. So this market, after it has broke that structure and now you understand that, oh, USDJPY is a buy, what do we get? We get a double bottom. So the pattern that we have here is a double bottom. Follow closely because this one can make you have uh, an understanding of what the market wants to do. So this is the double bottom. Yes, a long term is a buy because you have the break of structure and all of this is considered as a retracement and we're analyzing monthly. So pay attention. So we have the possible double bottom, possible double bottom like that. That's the possible double bottom we have. So I hope you you have mastered that on the upper side we broke so this becomes our neckline we have our neckline there neckline so we need to measure our half to know has the half been broken or what is happening because guys i told you there are some things that you need to see and they trigger so what is happening is the half broken or what is happening so this is our half can you see, guys, that's our half? Our, our half has not yet been touched. Our half has not yet been touched. So we have our half like that. Sorry, that is my alert. That is my alarm. On, um, I had done GBPJPY. I had a, a structure on GBPJPY and it has hit the TP. That's how we do it. So let me remove that alarm. So we have that double top. The half has not been touched. You can see clearly the half has not been touched. So where the market is, it's ranging. This market is ranging and it has not yet touched the half. So two things can happen. For me, I would advise you to check USDJPY on the buyer uh, on the on the buyer side but remember lower time frame can tell us what will happen so another thing that might happen on this market the market can go down and break this possible double bottom and continue going down making a cup and handle do you know how cup and handle are made cup and handle are made like this 
is when you have a possible double bottom and that possible double bottom is violated or it's uh, broken. So we'll get a cup and handle. So there's that idea of, oh, by the way, if we get the cup and handle, which distance will the market drop? The market will drop to that distance. So that's the another thing. Like we are not, our mind is not buy, 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 but we can, the market can drop to that distance if this support is broken. So now we have all those possibility and we have a possibility of the, on the double, uh, double bottom. And we can try to check how the candle look like. We can see that the, the April candle was, uh, it's like a pin bar. It's like it has rejected sellers. So we have a pin bar uh, kind of a candle. So sellers are getting rejected quite well. So let's try to go to weekly to see now what we have because we understand we have a double bottom, possible double bottom that has never touched uh, the half. So for me, I believe even if this sell might sell, first it wants to come to the half, which is 139, that is 300 pips, and then maybe go down. But we'll see. So when we go to weekly, when we go to weekly, this is what we have on the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, there is no double bottom, first of all. We do not have double bottom because on the weekly time frame, it was never activated. So the double bottom that we are seeing on monthly, it is only on monthly, it is not on weekly. So double bottom on monthly, it was never activated. It was never activated. So whatever we are seeing on monthly, it is not on weekly. This is what we are seeing this double bottom on monthly, but when it comes to weekly, there is nothing. You don't have. So we cannot bring the idea of the double bottom on the short term entry because remember, weekly is short term than monthly. So let's analyze this market using um using the normal way because we do not have a double bottom. We neither do, do we have a double bottom. So we just have a market structure and we can see the market structure that we have. I can delete this and start afresh. The market structure that we have on the weekly because you do not have a double bottom. Remember, the market failed to touch there. The market did fail to touch there. We don't have a double bottom. Now we, we have a small double bottom. Is This is the small double bottom on the weekly. And the market has gone to the neckline, guys. The market has gone to the neckline and it has failed to break the neckline. So can you see that small double bottom here? On the weekly, we have a small double bottom and the market has failed to break the neckline. So you thinking to buy USD card. If you want to buy USD card up, you have to wait for that neckline to be broken. So this week, pay attention, add it, add USD card, ah, not USD card, USD JPY in your watch list. If at all you would want to buy, that market has to break the neckline. If they break the neckline, trust me, that market will buy. So you don't just buy because you want to, you buy because the structure and the market has agreed, you see? So we cannot buy unless that is broken. So you are not looking, USD, JPO, you are not looking for buy, but we can look for sale. And why, how are we looking for sale? Because this structure has broken. Can you see our, this, this support was broken? This leg that was coming down, we had BOS, we had BOS, and now OST, we had BOS, and having BOS sellers are more stronger than buyers. That's why you see so many times I've attempted to break that area one, two, three. That's what I'm saying. It's not good to buy unless that zone is broken because you'll be trapped. So don't even think of buying. If that zone is not, um, if that zone is not, uh, it's not broken. So we are not even thinking of buying, but we can think of selling. So how are we selling, guys? Again, if you want to sell USD card, they need to break. They need to break one that is three forty seven. So it's either they break one that is seven or they break one that is three. So for now it might not be good because if it breaks, it will come back maybe now to activate the double bottom. So can we be patient for this market to either break the site? Because as what I'm seeing, the market is at the center. Can you see 
the market can do two things. It can break below. It's, uh, if it breaks below, how many pips? If it breaks below, let's see, it will be 600 pips. If it breaks above, it will be how many pips? 700. So either way, why would you want to be involved in this market at that level? Don't attempt to be involved in this market at that level. Why? Because this market can either buy or sell. Let's see daily. Let's see daily. So daily, that's what we have. It is a lot of confusion. Uh, let me mark my, my zones. So I've said it's either they break here. I make it visible on four hour. And daily. So I want it to make it visible for you to see. So you don't need to daily and four hour. And then this one daily. I'm making it visible for you to know which level you would want for the market to break daily and four hour. So these two areas, we will put color blue for us to understand which zones. These two zones are the ones that you want the market to break. For us to know, is it a buy, is it a sell? You see? So unless the market breaks that area, we are not buying. Unless the market comes and breaks here, we are not selling. You get? So even if you go to four hour, that's the structure you have. At the moment, it is at the center. And it can play. The funny thing with the market, they can keep playing like that and ranging, sorry for my drawing. So whoever asked me my opinion on USD JPY, for me, I wouldn't advise you buy or sell because selling you need, the market needs to break, not only with daily, but let it allow this market to break with weekly. Allow this market to break with weekly. So from weekly perspective, the only way I can give this signal, if I get a red candle, breaking like that and a green candle breaking on above so a red one breaks or a, a, a green one so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you have understood your detail why don't jump into it because you want to trade kindly just wait wait for those areas one that is ready to break on the down if it will sell or one that is seven to break it if it wants to buy thank you so much and i love you bye bye